Hi, this is John. Today we'll talk about how to finish off bridles for recovery of rockets. There's lots of discussion of whether tubular Kevlar or nylon is better. Um, I personally prefer nylon strap. Easy to cut, easy to finish, got a tiny bit of give, and just overall easier to work with and I've had good luck with it. So anyway, let's talk about how to finish the ends. The first thing of course is to actually make an end. When you cut nylon, obviously very easy to cut, but you have this end that can fray. Nylon has a relatively low melting point, and you can finish the edge just by heating it. It kind of melts it together, fuses the ends of the strap together, and gives you a solid edge and one that won't fray. So now, there's our end. Now, of course, the simplest way to finish an end is just to tie a knot. So we can make a loop giving ourselves some overlap, and then use a plain old overhand knot to tie a loop. A lot of people prefer this method. It's simple, and you can take out the knot later. Um, one problem with knots, of course, is that they reduce the strength of the strap significantly, but for a quick method, uh, unless you're right at the edge of the rated strength of the knot of the uh, strap, it's probably good. So there's our overhand knot. See how the overhand knot has the benefit that it lays flat with strap? A lot of fancier knots will create a huge ball, be very hard to tie, but an overhand knot lays flat with strap, so that's a good choice. We can put our attachment hardware through, in this case, and you can see that it pulls tighter as you pull. Very secure. So knot. First, most basic method of terminating your cord. And sometimes a knot is perfectly exactly what you want. For example, here on my Comanche 3, the bridle for one of the boosters, attachment to the motor, parachute, and a cap at the top to help everything eject and protect the recovery from um, the exhaust of the stage above, if there is any. So for this, very light, just attached with eighth inch Kevlar strap, and I tied it in a figure eight and put a drop of CA to hold it together. And that's perfect. This is light, it won't, a lot of force, works great. However, for the strap, I want to retain it a little bit better. And to do that, I'm actually going to sew a loop in the ends. You can see a professionally produced parachute. This one is from Fruity Shoots. How they have a zigzag pattern of sewing through the strap. We're going to reproduce that. OK, for the bridle itself, what I've decided to do is sew the loop. Sewing has a couple of nice advantages. Primarily, of course, is strength, because a knot reduces the strength of the strap a lot more than sewing. A second advantage is that I can create loops to the hardware. So in this case, I'm actually going to sew my loop to the hardware that came with the parachute, and that re reduces the need for a quick link, saving me a little bit of hardware, a little extra bulk, a little extra weight. So to prepare the strap for sewing, I like to use these plastic clips. Now these clips are decently strong, but I wouldn't trust them for the jerk of a hard recovery. So I use them mainly just to organize the strap. This holds everything together neatly, tucks the end, and makes it a nice package to sew. So prepare the material, do the loop, put the clip, give yourself like an inch to an inch and a half space to sew, and you're ready to go. We're going to sew with an awl made for sewing canvas. This one I have is the Speedy Stitcher. Looks like they upgraded their marketing material recently, as maybe as recently as the 50s. But anyway, it's a good tool. We basically have just a big thread. And we're going to do what sewing machines do, but we're going to do it by hand. We can use many kinds of thread. You can probably see this is fairly heavy. You can even use Kevlar thread if you like, although this is the uh, wax thread that came with it, which I think is fine. Um, 
there's not much to this tool. Basically, it's a needle. I can feel, feed the thread through by pulling it through the eye of the needle, and this will poke through the nylon between the holes in the threads and not do much damage, if any at all. Okay, so the way we're going to do the sewing is essentially end up doing a bunch of X's. So if we have a top view of the strap, the area that we're going to sew, we'll punch through here, sew through, punch through here, so sewing line, punch through here, sew, etc. Making a series of X's. We'll go here, then we'll sew to here, and then we'll go back with X's. And we'll finally tie on the bottom. So we'll have a series of overlapping X's giving us a lot of different threads in a relatively short distance to add a lot of strength between the two pieces of strap. Okay, here we are again ready to start sewing our bridle. So we have our sewing tool and our bridle ready to go. So we'll punch through at our first corner, goes relatively easily through. We'll take the thread and we'll pull it through this end because we're going to need a substantial amount of thread on this side. So what's going to happen is we're going to use the tool to go through make loops, thread this side through the loops, and back, and that's how it works through. So, pull this back out, make sure we have a nice section of thread. Here we go through once, a nice section of thread on both ends, and now we begin sewing. So, we'll go through our first point of the X, all the way through. And then when you start backing the needle out, create space for a loop. Run the backside thread through the loop. Hold the backside tight so it doesn't get pulled back through. Pull the thread back out. Pull it tight. Now we've sewed our first stitch. You can turn back over to the front. See we're slightly across. Hop over to our next X location, run through, pull back slightly, making a loop, run our thread through the back side, again holding our thread on the back side, pull through, make a loop. See how that's going? We're making our zigzags. So we'll just keep doing that all the way along. Okay, now we've zigzagged back and forth. Not the neatest job in the world, but you can see how we've done that. Now we're ready to start back in the other direction. So we go straight across from our last point through, and we're going to stitch exactly the same way. Pull back out a loop, run the back thread through, hold it, pull, through again. And now we're going to make the X's. So we come back to the midpoint between the previous points, through, and we keep stitching. See? We're going to work our way back and make X's back across. Now we've finished going back. We're going to do our last punch through across from our first. Come through just in the same way. pull through. This time we'll pull more thread out, cut it off, pull the loose end through, make sure it's nice and tight, turn it over, 
we can tie a square knot. Cut off X or ends. Don't cut them too tight because you don't want it to pull back out. And there we have it. A little bit sloppy, but this is more challenging on a narrow strap. This is actually 3 8 inch strap. It's even easier if you use wider strap, like 3 quarters or 1 inch wide strap. Now we have a nice secure end to our bridle, and we have it exactly to the hardware we want, and no extra hardware. There you go.